Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. We're still enjoying our heat wave in London. Now, don't jump away and try this puzzle first. Let me explain the rules to you in a moment because I want to be sure that they're understood. Um, won't take long. I don't actually have any names to read out of successful solvers of the Hitchhiker's Guide Hunt because although we received a couple of entries, I'm afraid they didn't have... One had no highlighting. One didn't have the right highlighting. So, guys, just be careful about what you highlight. Everybody we've read out has interpreted correctly the highlighting instructions. So, um, well done to them. Now, there's loads of stuff on Patreon, and the link to get to Patreon is available on the description field under the video, which also shows you where to get all our apps individually and where the Discord server can be found if you haven't tried it. Now, this puzzle. So this has come in from Garlic Bread Fries, and I think it's that constructor's debut on the channel. Um, and it's a very interesting puzzle with a peculiar rule set. So I will try and explain that. You see a number of types of symbol in the grid, basically three of them. There are black squares, black circles, and white squares. And what all of these refer to is the pairs of diagonally connected digits on them. So that's one pair on this black square, and that's the other pair. And what the black squares say is that the pairs of digits both have a one to an integer relationship, and they are different for the two pairs of digits, for the black squares. For the black circles, again, there's a one to an integer relationship, but they are the same for the other pair. That one to an integer relationship is the same ratio. For the white squares, totally different. There is no one to an integer relationship in either of the pairs. So those are the rules for the symbols. Then we've got a couple of arrows where the numbers along the arrow add up to the number in the circle. Normal Sudoku rules, that's it. Now you can go away and play it if you want on the link. Um, I'm just going to consider the title. It's called Bedazzled, and I think I've got a couple of questions about that. One is, is that referring to a computer game that used to be a bit like Candy Crush? And two, did I used to play that a lot? I think the answer to both is yes. And you'll be able to answer part one in the comments. Um, I might be wrong. I don't know. Anyway, I think that may be why it's called Bedazzled. Although, of course, we may be bedazzled by its brilliance as we solve the puzzle, which I'm going to try and do now. Let's get cracking. Um, I think we, the black circles are the ones with the most positive information. And look, in this central box, we've got two overlapping black circles. Now, if the ratio was one to two, the black circle, I think, is like a crop key dot. The, the numbers connected on it are either one, two, two, four, four, eight, or three, six. So there's quite a few possibilities. Well, yeah, there are one, two, three, four. I reckon there are five ways you could mix those pairs. But if it's, it, yeah, in this central box, they must, they can't both be the same because there's too many digits for one, two, three, four, six, eight in those cells. So one of them's different and is using a digit outside that set. Ah, and I think that means that one to four as a ratio is not you. Oh. No, okay, I'll change that. I think it means that one to three as a ratio is used because that uses the number nine potentially. So in a one to three black crop key dot, uh, black circle here, we would either have, we'd have a two and a six pair and then either a one three or a three nine pair. Yeah, I think that's right. Uh, you could have a 1-4 black circle, which would have a 1-4 in one corner and a 2-8 in the other diagonal pair. But that would be using the same... Ah, oh, I suppose you could have that with a 3. So 1, 2, 4, 8 and 3, 9, 2... Two six two six three nine one three four eight. No, two six three nine one two four eight. Yeah, that's okay. 
Oh, okay, look, what that's telling me is something I hadn't thought about at all, that fives and sevens can't be on these black circles. So that means that in this central box, fives and sevens must be in those cells. But, oh no, now I've broken the puzzle because there's a five, seven on this black circle. There, 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 is there any reason why a black circle that goes into other boxes is allowed a 5-7? I don't see. I don't think it can be. So I've misunderstood something fundamental. Why? I mean, I don't think a 5-7 can be here because these are equal black, equal ratio pairs. You can't have a 210 or a 214, obviously. Oh, I don't understand. Oh, my God. Yeah, I do understand it now, and that is brilliant. I mean, hats off if you saw that immediately and you're going, why, why is Mark being an umpty today, right at the start of the video? Well, I mean, this might happen a lot, but I've now understood what goes in here. And it doesn't have to be 10 or 14. Because this black circle is different. I was thinking this circle was the same as the others. Because if you put a two and a four in those cells, you can't have a two or a four there, which is the same if you put a two and a four there. But, 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 the ratio of one to an integer that I had not considered is one to one. Oh, my God, that's genius. Okay, garlic bread fries has absolutely slapped me in the face at the start of this puzzle. And I'm feeling very dumb. Okay, but this is great. At least I can make progress now. Look, and five, seven, I don't know. Okay, never mind five, seven for the moment, but this is, this is all right, and that's great. These cells are the same. So are those, actually. Um, I don't think this is a colouring puzzle, though. What I'm now going to think about is ones, because I've just realised ones can never be on the white dots, because they must have an integer ratio with the integer on the other side, of course. So ones can never be on the white dots, and all these cells in this box are on the white dots. So the one goes here, and this pattern is re reappearing here and up here. And come on, come on, keep working. It doesn't work here. That's irritating. One of those is a one, and it could be this, because that's fine for a, even for a black square within a three by three box, and that's all right. So we get a one over here. Can't be on the white dot. Ah, this is a one. Given those, oops, those two, there has to be one in these three cells. Those two are on white dots. This box has no information, but this box does. This has the same pattern again. One there. Those can't be a one because they're on a white. Those can't be because of that. There's a one in one of those two, and that sorts out this one. Box one. And this is sorted out. And then we get a pair there in one of those two. Could be on the arrow. Might not be over here. It is going to be opposite. Well, it doesn't really matter on a square. Yeah, that's all right. Um, okay, so that's ones done. Now, let's have another look at fives and sevens. Fives and sevens. Well, my earlier statement, they can never be on a black circle. That's been blown out of the water. But none of the other black markings appear anywhere except within a three by three box. And I don't think Okay, they can only have a five or a seven if they're opposite a one. So that could be five or a seven. Oh, but up here, there's three cells. Okay, there's three cells where five and seven can appear, but the green one can't be in this one. So one of those is the green five or seven. Let's mark the other one as blue. So we've got one green five and seven and one blue. Um, 
Can I get any traction out of these? These can't be green. This one can't be green either because that can't be a one. Yes, that works fine. So one of those is green and one of those. Um, one of these has to be green and that's fine. Ah, blue. These can't be blue, can they? No, they can't. And this blue is obviously ruling out those three. And that is not a five or a seven. So blue in box four is there. They could all be blue. There's no problem with that. Um, hmm. The, those can't be blue because of this blue. These two can't be blue because of where they are on the black dot. And nor can this, because it can't be opposite of one. That's obviously not blue. So that's actually a green-blue pair. Then we need a blue down here. Ah, I was going to say, blue can never be on a black dot. But, but it can be. It can be on a black square as long as it's opposite of one. So one of those can be blue. But I don't think this can be. Because that won't not only won't be a one, but it's a circle. There's every kind of reason why that is not blue. I think blue, no, I don't. Blue could be in either of those with a one here. Blue is in one of those two. No, that's on the black dot as well, you numpty brain. Right, blue goes there. That's where the one is. That's absolutely solid. Right, one goes in there. Blue is now on one of those. It can't be on the black dot. It's in one of those two. Could be on the circle. Um, then in one of these three, so few clues in box nine. Now, can this be blue? Yes. No. Oh, yes. I don't know which of those is. Right. Let's keep going with purples again then. Purple. Purple can't be on a, oh no, purple's not a five or a seven. We've got green and blue. Green is what I'm looking at. Sorry, purple was just a a pair that are the same. They're not ones, fives or sevens. Right. Um, green. Yes, let's keep going with green. Can we keep going with green? Oh no, anywhere here could be green. That's useless. Or maybe... Oh, hang on. Green can't be on the black dot down here. And that's not green. Oh, and of course, one of those is green. So those aren't green. So this is green. So the heck with that being a possible blue, it's not. Blue is the circle. So that's not blue. Um, right. Green cannot be in these two cells because the other side can't be a one. So this green means there's a green. It can't be there as well because that won't work. So green we'd get to place in box seven. Those two can't be because they can't have a one the other side. So one of those two is green. And one of these, one of these two is green. Um, oh, no, one of those two is green. So that's not, sorry, just not thinking clearly. This Puzzle is indeed a frying my garlic bread or brain. Um, so got an X wing up there. Oh no, it doesn't. It can be opposite the one. Okay, they're not on useful symbols. And these are just on whites. Green is in one of these two as well. Yes, it is. Okay. So it could be a blue pointing at a green and something. So in fact, that would have to be 7 equals 2 plus 5 if this turned out to be green. But I don't know how to resolve that. So I might have to just stop here. Now maybe I can go back. I mean, I've done a ton very slowly with the negative information there. But maybe I can go back to the positive information here. Because these overlapping things, yes, there's a 9 in one of them, isn't there? One of these has, there's a nine somewhere here. This is important. It can't be in one of these two cells because that, well, more importantly, it can't be here because that would give you a nine 
to one ratio, which couldn't be replicated there. It also can't be in these two cells because it would be nine three and you'd need another three here. So it can't be here because that would be nine there, would need a three here, two six here, and that three one ratio would not be replicated by four eight. So nine is in one of these two with a three. That's a pair. This pair is two six. This can't be a six because you, this is going to be four eight. They have a ratio of two. So we know that central one's a two. And we've got a digit other than a one in the grid. No idea what to do with it. This has got a lot of black dots as well. Ah. Oh. Oh, here's a thought. What's in the center here? It's got three connections. So it can't be a three, which would have a six and a nine only and nothing to fill the third cell. It can't be a four, which could have two and eight and nothing to fill the third cell. It's got to be a two, hasn't it? I think it has to be a two with the other, e yeah, with the other even numbers. That's right. In the corners on the black cells. Now, this is a replicated ratio here, so I bet it's 2 to 4. No, I bet it isn't, because it needs... Oh, in fact, this is a... Why haven't I filled in 5 and 7 in all the blues and greens? Because I am just not being careful. Right, so this is a 3-9 pair, and we know this ratio now is 3, so that's a 6. Oh, this is a puzzle. Right, 4, 8, and 1 there. Looking up at a 5-7 pair up here, actually, we know that too. Now, what's that tell us about the rest? That they are 2, 3, 6, and 9. Um, maybe that's not as helpful as I wanted. Um, that can't be 6, obviously. Okay, but this is still something. Now, this 2 and this 2... We must have a two in one of those two cells. What about this black dot? This can be. What can it be? Can it be a ratio of. It can't be a ratio of four because there's a one there. It can't be a ratio of one, so it's two or three. If it was a three, we'd have three. Oh, we're not using one, so we'd have three, nine, two, six with a 4-8 pair there, that does work. But if it's a ratio of 2, it's not using a 1, so it will be using 3, 6, 4, and either 2 or 8. In which case, 9 is definitely going to be here, along with either 2 or 8. So this is either... 9-2, a 9-8, or a 4-8 pair. Ah, oh, that's not a 2, obviously. Um, so if this is a 2, 3 and 6 have to be here. If this is a ratio of 2, no, I was going to say they have to be in those two cells. That's not true. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. Okay, let's think somewhere else. Although there's not many other... Well, this box. Um, ooh, okay, so I was going to say 9 has to appear in it somewhere, which is a pretty trite observation, but... Yeah, meaning is purple has to appear in it somewhere. I don't know anything about what purple is. Well, that's not true. I know it's not one, five, six, or seven. Oh, crumbs. Um, circles. So those are the same. Those are the same. We've done this one. We've effectively done this one. This one I've talked about at length, and this one we've done. So ooh, I'm kind of done on the circles.
Hmm. Right. Sorry if you're seeing the next step, obviously. Um, that's a pair. This has to be a pair. Doesn't really mean anything to me. Um, this has to not be a pair. I've got to do something with this. If it doesn't have a 2 here, then we have 2, 9 there. If, on the other hand, it does have a 2 here, I still don't know whether it's a ratio of 2 or a ratio of 3, do I? 2, 6, 3, 9. Oh, blue. Blue, blue, electric blue. No, one of those two is blue. Oh, it can't be this one, can it? That's on the black dot. Right. Oh, missed that for ages. Okay, that's blue. And... Okay, that petered out pretty quick. But that is five or seven. Don't really know anything about blue up here. Well, okay, I know it's not in those two now. So, five other cells where it could be lurking. Um, no, that's not helpful. That's different from that. Okay. Oh, crumbs. What do I do next? Okay, this number has to have two different partners. So it is, it's, no, it's not nine. Is that really all I know? Two, three, four, six, or eight? Yeah, that is all I know. Eight could have two and four. Six could have two and three. Four would have two and eight. Three would have two, well, it would have to have two there and six there, and two could have any two even numbers. So, not that helpful, frankly. Four and eight have to be placed. Ah, this can't be four or eight, can it? Because it's opposite this. I don't think any of four and eight can have a one to integer relationship. So four and eight are in those two cells. So this can't be four or eight because it would have to have an integer relationship there. So this is not a four eight pair. This is oh it was nine two or nine eight. Wasn't it? Yeah it was. I think it was. Let me just re redo the logic here. This could either be 2639, which it no longer can be. This is not a ratio of 3, it's a ratio of 2. So 3 and 6 are opposites, and 4 is on the other opposite. So that is not a 4. Could that be 2 and 8? No, because the 4 must go with either 2 or 8. 9 is in one of those two cells. Yeah, okay, but. I still don't know whether this is 3, 6 with 2, 4 there, or whether it's 3, 6 with 8, 4 somewhere. Oh, okay. But anyway, 4, 8. So this is 2, 3, or 9. It's not a 6. So the 6 is in one of those two cells. That's not a 6. Now we've got a 2, 3, 9 triple. So these are 4 and 8. Purple is four or eight. They are not on an integer relationship. I don't think they actually could be in anymore um, with these cells, which must include five and seven. So these are from two, three, six, and nine. That's probably not very helpful. Oh, it's such a weird way to pick up information in this puzzle. Five, seven pair there. Oh no, that can't be two because it's looking down at a two. So one of those is a two, and that's not a two. So this is three or nine, and that's on an integer relationship with this one. 
So that can't be 2, 4, or 8 anymore. That's 3 or 6. So if it's 3, it can't be a 3 here. If that was a 9, that would have to be a 6, but it's seeing a 6. So that's a 6. What an intriguing thing. So that's a 3. This must be 2. Um, got 4, 8, and 9 to place. I'm spotting a 489 triple there now. So that's a three. That makes that nine. Does that look across? No, not really. Two, three, four, and eight. That arrow cell can't be an eight, obviously. Um, these have to have an integer relationship. They can't be using a nine. That's a four, eight pair. So the nine is there. Now, these two have to, that is a two. These two have to, so it's not a six, nine pair. So that's not a three or a two. Actually, that was fairly obvious from that. Yeah. Um, those two don't, oh, these two don't have an integer relationship. So this can't be a two anymore. Wow, negative constraint all over the shop. Right, nine and eight there. So now it's two, three, four, and six on here with two opposite four. In fact, we know where two is. That's there, opposite four, a three, six pair. That four looks up at eight and four. That looks up, the purple cell is eight. And that has just about done with that coloring. Don't need it anymore. Um... These are from 3, 6, and 9 to make up the column. 2, 8, 5, 7. That's 3, 6, or 9 as well. Unsurprisingly, it's... Ah, well, they can't be 6 and 9 because that wouldn't be a solid relationship. Therefore, that's not a 3. That's either 3, yeah, that's either 3, 6, or 3, 9. Oh, that is looking... That 9 is now looking there. Brilliant. So, I mean, this is the part of the puzzle where you'll be spotting things well ahead of me, and I'm fine with that. You go ahead and shout yourself. That, I don't know, six or nine in one of those. Um, six, three, nine, eight, one, two, four, five, seven up here. But that can't be five or seven because it's not blue or green. Um, six, four, eight. Okay, I think I've used, have I used all the black dots, all the black markers? I've used them all up. Oh, that's quite depressing because I don't know where the next information is coming from because the whites are a lot less help. Ah, oh, four, looking at that. That sorts out that pair. So now I'm mostly getting left with fives and sevens only. Oh, that nine. Right. Um, no, that doesn't sort this out. If that's a three, this is a six, that's a nine. If that's a six, this is a three. No, if that's a three, this could be six or nine. Okay, that's not so good. That's not two or four. That is the five or seven. That is the missing green. Perfect. So, wow. So Sudoku gets me the color suddenly. Fair enough. Unexpected. That's not green now. That's not blue. Still have no idea what green and blue are. Blue's in one of those cells. Green's still unresolved down here, irritatingly. Okay, what about this? This cell is two or six. It can see a five, seven pair, three, one, nine, eight, and four. This cell can't see a five, seven pair. It can see six, eight, and one only. Ah. But this can't be 4, 2, 1, 5, or 7. Oh, well, hang on. This can't be 3, because there's not a 1 on the arrow. So. Can this be 6 or 2? Yes, that works okay with that. Can it be 8? It would have to be 6, 2. But it could be 9, which would give either 7, 2, or 3, 6. That's not 5. Is that all I learned from that irritating exercise? Okay. 
Um, okay, down here, this arrow. Five or seven, right, this can't be a one. And it can't go above a five. Oh, well, that's it, isn't it? Two, three, and four have been used in the row, and it can't go above a five. It is five. Oh, my goodness. So five plus two is seven, and suddenly we know all the yellow and green identities. Hurrah. Yes, this is definitely green because it's different from that color. So this is green is a five. Do we know where the sevens go? No, but I do know where all the fives are. And these blues, no, that's not right. Well, I'll paste in sevens where I can. Excellent. Okay, this is a six. I've suddenly seen that this one, two, three was incredibly helpful, right? Six, three. That six sorts this out. It's a three six pair. In fact, we know which way round. Yes, we do. This can't be six or nine anymore. That's eight. So this is two or six. It's six. Why did I think it can't be two? Hang on a second. Have I stupidly ruled two out of this cell wrongly? Take it slow. I think that, well, it's an eight on a two six pair. I daren't make a bigger prediction than that. Ah, but that's a two six pair. And it sees every other number in this row apart from four. So that becomes a four. Now we'll find out what it is. Two, four. That is a two. <laughs> Good thing I didn't rely on that pencil marking. Right, three there. This is a seven, nine pair. Uh, nothing to tell me which way round they go. I can get rid of the color there. Eight, two, four, one, five. So, oh, this is a three at the bottom by Naked Singledom. Excellent. Um, that's now an eight, also naked single. So I think we're finishing off now. This is fantastic. Seven, nine pair pair. Probably going to need the power of the dots uh, of the symbols to finish off. That's seven or nine. This is six, seven or nine. So, ah, oh, that's not two and that's not two. So this is two. This isn't six. Oh, this is a nine, in fact. Sorry, this. Okay, it's getting it's getting golden here. Nine and seven. Let's fix the um, coloring just because we can. There we go. I hope that's all of the coloring done. So this is the seven. Uh, yeah, six and nine over on the left are done. That's a six. This is three. That's the last digit in the grid. Now I'm going to check all the dots as well as the check button. So good. Seven, nine, five, six. Yes. Four, six, eight, seven, five, two, seven, nine. Arrows work over there. So I know that. I think I know all the black circles work. Two, eight, seven, one, one, nine, two, four, two, eight, three, nine, six, three, one, five, two, six, four, eight, six, nine, one, three. All the black squares work. Nine, six. That had me worried, but no, that's not an integer relationship. Oh, maths. Maybe I'm just not good at maths. Anyway, I'm not unhappy with that. I don't think this puzzle is easy, although, although I think the author said in their email that they thought it was. It really isn't. But I mean, hats off if you've done it a lot quicker than that. I think that's an all right solve, I hope. I loved it anyway. That's so clever. And many stages, I thought there just wasn't enough information. And there was, of course. Brilliant puzzle. Thank you so much for sending it. Um, interesting career for garlic bread fries ahead, I predict. Very interesting puzzle, verging on the too complex in terms of rules, but just okay, I think. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, really hope to see you again on the channel soon, and bye for now.